I keep on seeing mentioned that ADA is undervalued, and it's all because of this research right here done by Grayscale Digital Trust. So let's look into the highlights and then dive into my research on the topic, and you are going to find this fascinating. So this is an overview of Cardano and its potential as an investment, and I've highlighted the key points. They say the network is currently processing more than 115,000 transactions per day, which is up 13x since the start of 2021. The network has grown to 2.8 million monthly active users, which is up 7.3x, and the valuation per monthly active user, which they're getting that calculation by taking market cap, divided by monthly active addresses of Cardano is $30,000, where Ethereum is $55,000. And this may mean that Cardano is undervalued relative to Ethereum. So that's what I want to do. I want to compare this data and all the data I can find comparing ADA to Ethereum to see which one is undervalued, if ADA is undervalued, if Ethereum is potentially overvalued. And let's go ahead and dive into the research here. So as you can see, I have pulled data for this, a lot of data for this breakdown. But don't worry, we're going to make this easy to understand. I've made a bunch of beautiful charts that will illustrate the data for us so you don't have to like read a spreadsheet. Now, by the way, as promised, here's a quick portfolio update before we jump in. I post all my buy and sell alerts in my private group. We are now up 125%, just over $100,000 in profit on my buy and sell alert. So if you'd like to join, I have opened more spots specifically for this video. So just make sure to grab one of those before they run out. That will be linked in the description below. So let's go ahead and hop into this data. So in order to break this down, like I said, I've made a whole lot of charts, but let's first break down what exactly we're looking at. So here we have the date. All this data is from the last 30 or so days for both Ethereum and Cardano. We're gonna compare a ton of network data. So we can see market cap data, daily transaction data, real volume data, which is just volume of trades minus any wash trades, um, active addresses, total fees the network generated, the average price per transaction, average Reddit users for each community, the market cap to daily active users, and a whole lot more. And with this, we're gonna be able to visualize if ADA is undervalued. Now, the most important data point here is market cap ratio of Ethereum to ADA. So this is Ethereum's market cap divided by ADA's market cap, and the average over the last 30 or so days is 5.1. Now, let's start with the basics. This chart shows the market cap of both ADA and Ethereum, ADA being blue, Ethereum being red over the last 30 or so days, and that ratio that I just mentioned, how that ratio fluctuates. So we have the total market cap here on the left and the ratio on the right. Now let's compare the total daily transactions for ADA to Ethereum. This is the total number of transactions. We can see ADA has far fewer transactions than Ethereum, and in fact, the average ratio is 13.5. But what we really want to look at is how this relates to market cap. This, this gives us a better picture of the value. So if we look at the third chart here, we can see again, the market cap ratio of Ethereum to ADA is 5.1, meaning Ethereum is 5.1 times larger than Cardano. The transaction ratio is 13.5. Now that multiple is 2.6. So we can see in the red here is the transactions ratio, meaning that Ethereum has quite a few more transactions than ADA and the market cap ratio. So what this multiple tells us is that there's 2.6 times more transaction activity on Ethereum per dollar in market cap when we're comparing that to ADA. So this means that Ethereum is actually more active, the network is more active per dollar in market cap. Now, this might be a little bit surprising to you, but if you think about it, it's not super surprising because Ethereum has had a whole lot more time to have development on the ecosystem. They have applications running. Where with Cardano, this wasn't even possible five weeks ago. So we'll start to see this number really ramp up in the future. And I would personally take this one with a little bit of a grain of salt for about a year. Check back in about a year, take a look at what this is at, and then I think we'll have a better idea of network activity comparing ADA to Ethereum. But if we look at just this data point, it may actually signify that ADA is overvalued relative to Ethereum. But again, I wanna check back on this one in about a year once developers have actually had time to build on Cardano. That'll give us a much better picture. Now the next chart shows the real volume of ADA versus the real volume of Ethereum. This is the total transacted dollar amount per day for each network, minus any wash trades or any funny business. So it should be 
the actual volume traded. Now with this, we can see it's all over the place. The real volume for ADA is, again, quite a bit lower than the real volume for Ethereum. Ethereum being the red here, ADA being the blue. Now the real volume ratio, this is the ratio of Ethereum's volume divided by ADA's volume. So it shows us how much more volume is happening on Ethereum. That ratio, the average there, is 5.2. Now if we remember, the market cap ratio is 5.1. Now what this signifies to me is based on the real volume, these networks are actually pretty in line with price. I mean, there's a tiny difference here, 5.1 to 5.2, but I mean, that's basically a rounding error. And I was surprised to see how close this data was. And it signifies to me that, hey, they might actually be correct value. Now let's move on to the next chart. The next one is active addresses, comparing again Cardano to Ethereum. These are wallets that are actually being used each day. So these are daily use. That calculation for Grayscale used monthly active users. I was I could not find that data point anywhere. So this is daily users. And we can see um, with Cardano here in the blue, it floats just under 200,000, and the average, in fact, is 151,000, where Ethereum is 535,000. Now, the active addresses ratio, meaning Ethereum's active daily addresses divided by ADAs, is 3.6. That means on any given day, there's 3.6 times more users using Ethereum than ADA. Now, what's important here is to compare that to market cap, because remember, that ratio is 5.1. So you'd assume that Ethereum would actually have 5.1 times more active addresses than ADA, but it's smaller than that. So I wrote a little note here as to what that could mean. It could indicate that ADA is undervalued based on daily active users when compared to Ethereum. So an increase in ADA's price by 49.2% would make this comparable to Ethereum looking only at this metric, which of course is a massive increase for ADA. Now again, that is just one data point in favor of ADA. So far we have one in favor of Ethereum, one in favor of ADA, and one that was about equal. However, if you ask me, this is a very important data point because if you look at like startup valuations, a lot of times they'll look at things like the total number of users and how that's increasing over time and they'll create a value based on the total number of users. Well, if there's more users of Cardano per dollar in market cap, that could indicate that it is undervalued relative to Ethereum. Now, next up, we have transaction prices. This won't tell us if ADA is undervalued or not, but I thought this was extremely interesting. Frankly, I am sick of Ethereum gas fees. I used Uniswap the other day and it was $45 in gas fees to buy $2,000 in crypto. It's very frustrating. So here's the average transaction fee over the last 30 days for both Cardano and Ethereum. We can see it's quite a bit higher here for Ethereum. The average price per transaction for Cardano is 50 cents. The average for Ethereum is $25.78. I came up with this network efficiency ratio of 51.34, meaning it is 51 times more efficient to use Cardano to transact than Ethereum. Now, of course, Ethereum is working on getting proof of stake initiated with their Ethereum 2.0. However, this is supposed to happen for the last five years or so. It has not happened quite yet. I hope that they figure this out. If they don't, I think this will be the biggest detriment to Ethereum. If Cardano doesn't overtake them because of this, someone else sure will given enough time. People are simply not going to put up with 50 times higher fees to use a network over a long period of time. It is absolutely insane. I hope that they get this figured out sooner than later for their own sake. I mean, I hold some Ethereum too. So I just, I want everyone to do better and better. And frankly, there are going to be multiple winners when it comes to crypto. It's not ADA versus Ethereum. You know, one will have ultimately a higher market cap, but I think there'll be multiple winners, and I think both of those two will be up there in the largest winners. Now, next up, this is a bit of a social metric. This is average daily users in the ADA subreddit versus the average daily users in the Ethereum subreddit. And we can see here that the average active users is actually higher for Cardano than it is for Ethereum, which was a bit surprising to me. And here's a note I wrote on this. This could be interpreted that ADA should be 6.2 times larger. And I got this by taking 5.1, that market cap ratio divided by 0.82, this social metric ratio. However, as, as I've written here, there are many other factors at play. And this isn't the only social network. This is just one 
factor. And I want to make it clear that any single data point on this entire list, you can't point to it and say, hey, ADA is undervalued because of this data point. It's an aggregate of all the data points. And frankly, we don't have access to all the data points. All we can do is build some spreadsheets like this and get a little bit closer to the truth. And that is my only goal here. OK, here we have another ratio. Let me break this down. So this is market cap divided by the daily active users. So the total value of the crypto ecosystem divided by the number of people who are using that ecosystem every day. This gives us a dollar amount, a figure that says, hey, this crypto project is worth X amount of dollars per user that uses the network each and every day. And what you need to know here is the lower the figure, the more potentially undervalued the crypto ecosystem may be. So here we have Cardano in blue, and the figure comes out to $493,000. And with Ethereum, we have $705,000 for our ratio here. Now, this is the ratio that Grayscale used to say, hey, ADA may be undervalued compared to Ethereum because the value per user compared to market cap is lower for ADA. So we have that data here as well. So here we have the market cap ratio, again, Ethereum's market cap divided by ADA's, meaning Ethereum is 5.1 times larger. Then we have the market cap to daily active user ratio dividing Ethereum by ADA. So dividing the $700,000 figure by ADA's $493,000, that gives us this ratio of 1.45. Now, Grayscale's ratio is 1.8. Now, what you might find interesting here is my data actually is slightly less bullish because this is a smaller figure than Grayscale's data. It's about 20% less bullish. Now, they could have used data over six months or slightly older data, and that might be why, but I found that quite interesting. Now, next up, this is the last one, actually, is the Metcalf's Law Ratio. So Metcalf's Law, let me break this down, is a formula used to determine the value of any network. It was initially used for telecom networks. The calculation states that the value of a network is proportional to the square of the number of connected users in the system. So what does that mean? It means that if you take the number of active users in a network times the number of active users, so you multiply by itself, this equals the value of the network. And this makes sense if you think about it, because every additional user to a network can then communicate with everyone else in the network. So the value of that network increases exponentially, not linearly, as more users join. So I'm using this for our crypto valuation by adding in market cap. So we take market cap divided by the square of the total active users, and this gives gives us a ratio. The higher the ratio, the better. This means the network may be undervalued. And here is the ratio. So the ratio for ADA, for Cardano, is 3.34. For Ethereum, it's 1.33. Now, that could be looked at as another data point signifying that Cardano may be a bit undervalued compared to Ethereum. Now, taking all of this into consideration, is ADA undervalued relative to Ethereum? Based on these data points, I would say yes. Of course, we saw that Ethereum has more transactions relative to market cap, signifying a more actively used network. However, given that Cardano just turned on smart contracts a month ago, I'd like to check back on that one in about a year, as I said earlier. The other data points tend to lean towards ADA being undervalued, with the exception of real volume transacted. And that showed that, hey, these prices might be accurate because that figure was pretty much equal for both Cardano and Ethereum. But active addresses, social metrics, daily active users, price per active user, and Metcalf's network law ratios all signify that ADA may be undervalued. Now, one data point that I really wish I had was the total number of active developers on each network. I dug and dug for this, but I couldn't find anything accurate. I'd find one that said Cardano had more. I'd find another that says Ethereum had more. So I decided not to use that data at all. But I think that would be important to figure out. Now, does this mean that ADA will now shoot up in price? No, of course not. Looking at this data helps, but there are so many outside forces at play that we just simply can't measure that will impact prices. I mean, one single Elon tweet could increase either of these by 10%. It's, it's a wild world. <laughs> but after doing all of this digging, I now have a current price target for ADA of $2.99 as a fair value at least relative to Ethereum. And I believe that $5 is reasonable for October 2022, so one year as of the recording of this. That is, if the network keeps trending in the same direction. So that's going to do it for today. I hope that this was helpful, a more data-driven video. I hope I didn't bore you too much. Make sure you join that Patreon for even more content and even more research. And as always, have a profitable day.